Forgotten Sunrise, Chapter 10, Relating Sunset was leaning back in the padded booth as she awaited her lunch, the waffles having worn off by now. And here we are! Sprout announced, coming up to their booth with a closed pizza box and sliding it onto the table. The best pizza on the coast! The Red Earth Stallion lifted the top flap up to reveal a steaming sliced pizza, with possibly every vegetable in the garden topping the gooey cheese. Well, they certainly don't skimp on the toppings, now do they? Sunset commented, as Sprout took a seat across from her. That's my favorite part about this place. Probably why I'm one of the regulars. So, you called yourselves the Equestria Girls? I actually don't remember exactly who came up with that. It had to have been either Flash or Lyra. But yeah, that name spread around the school for our circle of friends that handled anything magical from time to time. Well... Sunset began, using the wooden and metal spatula to pull out her first slice, her mouth positively watering at the cheese pull that resulted. You've heard my story. Let's hear yours. Sunset passed him the spatula, so he could get out his first slice, putting it down on his plate. Um, so I've spent my entire life here in Maritime Bay, uh, born and raised. I've known Sunny and Hitch for almost as long. When I was younger, I always wanted to be Sheriff of Maritime Bay. I often mocked Sunny for her beliefs and views, Probably because I and most of Maritime Bay sucked up every ounce of what we were taught to believe in history class. Her dad really turned her into an amazing pony. To be so civil, and tenacious in the face of all of that. Sprout paused to take a bite of hot pizza, while Sunset sipped at her soda. Anyways, I never did make it up to Sheriff. And it was likely only because of Hitch's good graces that I was his deputy. Mainly, he just had me keep an eye on Sunny when he figured she was gonna stage another protest or try to sneak into camera logic again for another demonstration or speech. Her latest attempt was during my mom's annual showcase. After it went about as well as her other demonstrations, Izzy wandered into town and drove every pony into a panic. Sunny took off with Izzy to go to Zephyr Heights and Hitch gave chase, leaving me in charge. That's... That's when things got bad. Sprout took another couple of bites of pizza and a gulp of soda. He mentally prepared how to explain himself at his lowest point. The populace was spooked. They were looking to the police department for answers. Mom wasn't doing me or my ego any favors by suggesting that I take charge as acting sheriff. And I just wanted ponies to trust me. Like they trusted Hitch. I took the first pages out of his book, urging every pony to calm down, but I didn't act like him for too long. Instead, I started playing into their fears just to hang on to their trust. Because all I needed was just one taste of it. And before I knew, it was all I wanted. When Sunny and Hitch came back two nights later, I had every pony whipped into a small, panicky army that didn't last 15 seconds at staring down a few unicorns and Pegasi. And... Sprout took another deep breath, finishing off his current slice of pizza. And when I thought they were going to use those crystals to give the unicorns and Pegasi their magic back, I went and toppled the lighthouse. Thankfully, after that, things calmed down. The crystals restored every pony's magic, and I, somehow, kept my job. I knew I didn't have the trust of any pony anymore, and I began to realize that nothing I did would ever get it back. So I started splitting my time between the MBPD and Canterlogic, and when Sunny came to us wanting help designing a vehicle to get up north to the Crystal Empire, I decided to do everything I could to help her piece together Equestria's ancient past. We built a heavily modified version of my vehicle to get up to eight ponies and a fair bit of cargo up and back. Now that we've discovered how much is up there and with how fulfilling I've found it, I've officially resigned from the MBPD and I'm working in Cantrologic's research and development division full-time now. His story now complete, Sprout took another breath 
and pulled another veggie-filled slice of pizza up from the box and over to his plate. Well, it sounds to me like we've both had troubled pasts. But you've made all the right choices lately, Sprout. I know that feeling. That you believe that you'll never earn their forgiveness or friendship. But I think you've already done that. The stallion smiled at the unicorn across the table. I guess if you speak from experience, I can trust that. I mean, it's not like I turned into a demon form like you did. Sunsa chuckled. It's not just my experiences that you have to account for. It's yours too. You got your friends hundreds of miles north and back safely. And it sounds like you're getting ready to do it again. Yeah, that trailer should be assembled in another day or two. Then it's just a matter of stress testing it, making sure it can handle the terrain and the weight. That'll take a week or two, and then I think we'll be good to go. You're more than welcome to come along and see it if you want. Our route takes us pretty close to Zephyr Heights. We could pick you up along the way. Sprout offered. I'll probably take you up on that after a few days up there. Just let me know when you guys are ready to go. I might even be able to help with driving. I took an RV up to a musical festival for a weekend, so I've got some experience. Sunset answered. As she started into her next slice, her phone vibrated on the table next to her plate. She lit up her horn and grabbed it, looking at the alert on the lock screen. From Pip. Hey Sunset! Zip left for home early, looking like it's gonna be to see on me camping on the way. Meet you at Sunny's in about an hour? Taking another sip of soda, Sunset tapped in a reply with a mode of magic extending from the tip of her horn. From Sunset. Sure thing. Just finishing up lunch. See you soon. Well, looks like I'm gonna be headed out here in a little over an hour. I don't think I'll be able to finish my half, so since you bought, you can have the leftovers. I'm glad to have gotten to know you, Sprout. Thanks for introducing me to the best pizza place in town. I'm looking forward to traveling with you up north. Sprout smiled after swallowing his latest bite. Thanks, Sunset. That means a lot. I don't know about you all, but I can't wait to see what Pip and Sunset are gonna do. One can only guess it's gonna be a lot of sightseeing and a lot of shopping. But anyway, let's get on to our nifty donators. Top donators are 630, TacoCat598, Only One Thing, Subaru Orion, and Iron Sky. Darkside, Raiden, Narmos, Black Moon, Heart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Sword Brother, Marjorie, Omicron, Lyra, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Ride Soul, Badass Waffle, Shadow Moon, Luigi88, Chancellor Crust, Big Smoke 369, Bobcat GJF, and many more awesome people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.